Hello garden friends, I'm Holly Stickley of The White Pear, where it's at for savvy small gardens and outdoor living. Well, today is a gorgeous summer day in Portland, Oregon. I think we're in the high 80s. Yes, it's not raining. I know everyone thinks it rains here all the time, but we do get into the 80s, 90s, sometimes even the hundreds for a few days. So today I'm visiting a beautiful small space urban garden designed by Joanne Jorgensen and Rob Olson. The garden here is small but just lovely. It's 35 feet long by about 18, 20 feet wide, but it is, it is chock full of gorgeous tropicals and lots of color. They love their color. So anyway, let me go introduce you now to Rob and Dwayne. So I'd like to introduce you now to my friends, Rob Olson and Dwayne Jorgensen, the designer of this gorgeous small space garden. Okay, let's take a look at some of... Okay. Yes. I'm glad you're here, Holly. Oh, thank you. I love being here. Look at this amazing gunnera here. And it really is in a lot of sun. Usually they love more bog, air and shade, but actually this gunnera gets a lot of sun, which I'm like amazed, but they water it. Gets a, a lot of water. Lots, lots of, water. of water. Well, and lots of... Just oh. soak it. We just soak it. But it's also called, what is it called again? Dinosaur food. Dinosaur food. Well, and that, look at it. So, and then we also have the Acanthus mollus. Beautiful. And it's looking great. And again, usually this is kind of a shade type right, of right. a plant. But they make it work in this garden. I'm like, my mouth is open. I'm amazed. And the bird of paradise in the corner. But you're waiting for our We're giant for bloom. Okay, the garden has only been, what, here for two years? This is the second year. Second time it's second, second summer. Second summer. Wow. That's amazing. And the tetrapanics. Look at this. I love this umbrella plant. It's just... This is, I love this. Two years old. Two years old. Okay, now how old was it when, how young? How old? Oh, it's just little. Little? Little. Little? Did you hear that, you guys? Little. Little, little, yes. It wow. Three leaves. Three leaves. This is the second year. I'm like amazed. So, wow, what is this? This is a loquat, God, Holly. Ah, Dwayne. Rob, shoot. And it's a zone eight plant. Zone eight. Made it through the winter, fantastic. So this is, again, second year for this. It's probably being protected, too. You know, it has to do with the area that it's contained in. Well, that could you know? be. I've yeah. seen others in, in the Portland Gardens, but I beautiful. We, we thought we'd take a chance. And we mulched it. And we mulched it, that's a good thing. So I've heard that um, the loquat fruit is wonderful for making wine. <laughs> Come on, fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, look at this banana canna, the canna, wow, musifolia. You know, Gorgeous. These, these, of course, like a lot of water as well, but not in the winter. Okay. The one okay. we had last year died. It didn't come back. And what okay. I found that I did this time was dig the hole and put rocks in the bottom, put a little more dirt, and then plant it over the rocks for drainage. The roots, okay. I found, they, don't yeah, want to be Yeah, they don't want to be, yeah. Not in the winter. Yeah. They'll freeze. Yeah. They'll freeze and, yeah. But in the not summer, a good thing. summer, lots of water. Beautiful. Look at this, you guys out there. And it will get big Look pink blooms. Pink blooms? Mm, yes. Oh, yes. I'm in love. I know, I'm in love with it oh, too. Oh my God, I could stare at this. Wow. And I, I just, I tell so you, the, it grows a foot a day. Wow. It's in the canna family, kind of musifolia. It's in the, I think yes. it's in the canna family. Yes, it is the canna family. Beautiful. But it looks kind of like a banana. It does look like a banana. Yeah, the texture and everything is like a banana. Gorgeous. The veining and, yeah, I love oh, it. Oh, I, I love it. it. Don't you, Rob? I do. <laughs> Rob does too. One of my favorite plants. Beautiful. I love agapanthus. You know what? I love agapanthus too. <laughs> we love agapanthus. When I first started designing, I loved agapanthus. I just, it looks great in pots. It looks great in everything. It I looks good everywhere. Look at this. Everywhere. The Melianthus, the Melianthus 
Wow. I know, it's peanut butter. It smells, smells like, like peanut butter, you guys. Yes. It's just but it's amazing. But look at the texture. Okay, so I saw this when it was in full bloom. And even now, it just has a nice structural. Well, the burgundy blooms are beautiful. Oh, but I love these. Blooms, I guys. love these little pods. Oh, yes. Look at these seed pods. Cool. But look at this. What is this? So this is a two-year-old garden. Two-year-old. How big was it when you? Oh, it was just maybe this big. Wow. One gallon pot. Wow, That's amazing. Crazy. Okay, so I grew this and I failed. I'll come and help you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you, okay, cameraman, zoom in here. This is their shade garden, which is, I love their shade garden. And, but look it, they don't have a lot of shade here. So this is what they do. They do these, and it makes just like really cool architectural element. Okay, now where'd you guys get these? You told me. We got those at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight in Portland for? here over on Interstate Avenue. Interstate Avenue. $9.95 each. $9.95 each. If you want an umbrella, go there. You know, it's just perfect. And I love the brown color too. It's cool. Very, very nice. Okay, so you guys, they're having an amazing, well, I, I'm sure it's an amazing Caribbean party. A Caribbean party, yay! <laughs> Caribbean food, Caribbean cocktails, and, and home. Caribbean dress. Yes, and how would you like to sample one of the drinks tonight? Yes, I would love to sample one of the drinks tonight. Okay, Dwayne, what do we have here? We are going to make a shore breeze. Shore breeze. Yes, cool. I think perfect drink name for a Caribbean cocktail party yes, and yes, dinner yes, party, yes. don't you I think? I okay, say so. so. We like our drinks shaken just for the effect. So we put some ice in the shaker. <laughs> and each drink calls for one and a half ounces of rum. Of rum, All light right. light rum. Light rum, okay. So it takes. Oh, you're organized. On each drink, two ounces of cranberry juice. So we have six here all together. It takes three ounces of pineapple juice. So we have nine all together. Shake it. You gotta go oh. like this. Wow. Love the color too. So cranberry rum, cranberry juice, pineapple juice. Correct. So the Holly blog is gonna have it, the recipe on there. Oh man. Wow, beautiful. Cheers well, to the here's Caribbean. Well here's to the Caribbean. Happy gardening. Happy tropical gardening. <laughs> thanks you guys. Holly, thanks right. for being here. Delight. Yummy. Good. <laughs>